a scorned Turkish wife decides to do the following to a home in Turkey. Damn. So she cleaned house. She literally took the roof. She took the Annesi roof off. Bile gitti. Annesi Bu evin çatısını kim söktü böyle peki? Dayılarım. Niye söktüler? Babam e, diyorlar ki babam annemi dövmüş diyorlar. İnsan kaşık çatal tabak bırakır. Onu bile götürmüşler. Çocukların yiyeceklerinden tut benim ayakkabılarıma kadar. Şahin abi çatıyı da sökmüşler değil mi çatıyı? Çatı, evet çatıyı da söktüler. Ne yapıyorlar? How do you take a roof? <laughs> She's like, raise the roof. The roof was on fire. <laughs> so it, I, I watched the whole video and obviously I speak Turkish. So it, first of all, she claims, uh, we know through the husband, that they took whatever they thought they built, right? Her and, the, and her brothers came in, they're like, yeah, roof ours, windows ours, forks and spoons. That guy was obsessed with the forks and spoons. <laughs> He said it two or three times in the video. He's like, I mean, who takes forks and spoons? Who takes forks and spoons? I don't even have shoes. What's happening, right? And, and the kids, they actually love their dad. In another part of the interview, they're like, oh, we love our dad. We want to stay with our dad. And the, and the guy, they're like, they ask the father, why did you, you know, you do this? They're like, I don't know. Maybe we had a fight or something. They ask the kids, they're like, oh, we love the dad. Oh, but he used to beat our mom. <laughs> That's why the roof is missing. No more forks and spoons for us. Okay. Amazing. So we don't know if that's true, but from the mouth of children, you probably get the right answer. Uh, so, hey, listen, man, don't mess with Turkish folks. Don't mess with Turkish women. Don't mess with Turkish housewives. They will literally take the roof off your house mm -hmm. and be like, see you, wouldn't want to be you. By the way, good luck eating your soup because you're not going to find any spoons. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I love Turkish, by the way. Does Turkish sound as harsh? To, to other people? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, yeah. here, let me tell you what fork, spoon, and knife is in Turkish. Go. Çatal, kaşık, bıçak. You're purposely making it sound <laughs> harsh, though. I know. Like, I could, kötü. Like, er, you could, I mean, you can make anything sound harsh. Say it normal. Like, how would you say it? Çatal, bıçak, kaşık. No, it doesn't sound too harsh. Uh, still. God bless Turks, man. They get run over by buses. They get right back up. And while you're not looking, they'll take your roof or your bridge.